Hi, welcome to Longevity's Learning Lab. Today we're going to look at the Longevity Tigwell 200D. We're going to take it out of the box, see what it comes with. Uh, we're going to put it all together and show you how the whole machine sets up. Okay, let's take a look at what we get. Operator's manual. There's a styrofoam protection. There's the there's the Tigwell 200. And there's a box of parts. We'll take a look inside this and see what's in here. All right, let's open the smaller box. See what we got. All right, we've got a 220 to 110 connector. Here's a welding shield, little hammer, brush, wire brush. Here's our air hose, air hose connection. Our ground, ground clamp. Stick weld uh, stinger. We'll take a look and see what's inside of that. We'll take welding torch, I believe. And foot pedal. This bag is the last thing we'll open up. Here we have. Here we have our TIG welding torch. A um, couple of parts, some gas nozzles, a couple of different tips. Here's a control panel of our machine. We'll go through each function. Uh, our amperage control 10 to 200. When you're in the 110 uh, setting or when you have it plugged into 110, your max output will be 150 amps. You go to 220 and you'll run it all the way up to 200 amps. Here's our stick TIG process. Either you're welding in stick or you're welding in the TIG process. Here's our post flow. This is a TIG function, two seconds or five seconds of post flow uh, when you're welding. Here's our control panel, uh, our, our panel control, our handheld torch versus our foot pedal. And here's our pedal connect, here's our handheld torch connect, digital output uh, for the amperage control. Here's our overheat uh, light and our power light. Here's the lower half of our machine. Here's our bayonet connects and our uh, our TIG connection. I'm going to go through the stick weld setup of the machine. Uh, here's our stinger, black rubber housing, bayonet style, black to black. Here's our ground clamp, red rubber housing, red to red, bayonet style, just put in a twist. And we want to be in stick, and then these are uh, essentially off. Assembling our TIG torch, here's our uh, our lock piece, this locks the collet in, comes with a 332nd collet. This one, here's 1 16th, and here's a 5 64th uh, uh, tungsten collet. Short cap, long cap, uh, 5, 6, and 7 gas nozzles. I'm going to do a short assembly of the torch here. This plastic cap snaps on the, on the front there. Here's the, this is assembled. Here's our, our lock piece. Here's a collet. This is a 332nd collet with a 332nd tungsten inside. So that slips in and then threads into the torch. The tungsten can, can slip around up through the collet back and forth right now. Uh, we'll put our long cap on. Uh, the long cap essentially uh, squeezes the squeezes this collet, presses it down, and this pinches, pinches the tungsten and holds it in place. So the length adjustment, you loosen this and this slides up and down. And then we'll just uh, put our number seven gas nozzle on and the loosen and then our tungsten can be adjusted to whatever length we want. A 
Okay, our TIG torch is configured correctly, so we're going to plug in the other end of the torch lead, and that is going to screw on here. TIG. And then our two pin connector is going to go into panel up here. It's got a guide slot, so it just slips in, and then this little collar spins down, hold it in place. And our ground clamp, red to red again. Okay, we need to be in a TIG process, stick, TIG, two second or five second post flow, whatever you prefer. And we're going to be running in panel, not foot panel. Um, and then uh, our gas is connected in back. All we need to do is turn on our machine. And here's our amperage control. Power's on, ready to go. All right, the last thing we can hook up is our foot pedal here. So we're going to take the torch lead out of two. And we have two leads here from the foot pedal, a two and a three lead. So here's the three, we'll put that in first, uh, plug it in, put the collar down. And here's our two pin connect. That's going to go in. And now from panel control, we want to go into foot pedal control and we have an amperage gauge on the pedal here. So All right, the last thing we can hook up is our foot pedal. So we'll remove our panel control. There's two leads that come out of the foot pedal. We have a two and a three prong lead that fits there. We'll screw the collar down. The two lead fits here. And now our foot pedal is connected. We need to, to switch from panel control to foot pedal. Uh, everything else can stay the same. And this is overridden now. Here's the back of the machine. We're going to move into our TIG weld process, how to set up the machine. Here's our 220 plug out of the machine, on off switch, our Ergon bottle uh, uh, gas line adapt. So we could, we can plug this in and now we can plug into 110. And our gas hose is going to thread right into that fitting. Okay, with our foot pedal connected and in foot pedal, this is overridden now, so it doesn't really matter. So there is an amperage control on the foot pedal. Uh, the way to find out what your maximum amperage is is to dial it in. Okay, so we can dial that to uh, say 150. Okay, now that's our max amperage with the pedal all the way down. 175. Okay, 175 amps all the way down. So using the little amperage control, you can find what your max limit is, just set it, and then when you match the pedal, that's where your limit is. I hope this short setup video of Longevity's TIG Weld 200D helps. It comes with everything you need to get started except uh, the Argon bottle and the regulator. Um, capable of TIG welding, mild steel, stainless steel, cast iron, copper, bronze. Uh, it's also a stick welder. Very lightweight machine, easily portable. Um, a great little TIG welder. Subscribe to Longevity's welding channel and as always, Thanks for watching at Longevity's Learning Lab.